Hello, this is 8-Bit Rach and welcome to another Amstrad game review. Going to be having a go on Zypho's Nightmare today and this is a brand new game for the Amstrad. So brand new, in fact, it's not been released yet. We've got a chance to have a go on a review copy, so here's a sneaky peek for you. Now, like I said, this is called Zypho's Nightmare. It's named after the YouTuber Zypho and this is the second game by YBsoft, otherwise known as Yellowbelly. You might know the first game he did, A Bug's Quest for Tapes. I have done a video on that, so have a look. And this is due for release later this month, March as we're in now, and it will initially be an Antstream exclusive, but he does plan on releasing it as a disc file for download at a later date. So let's get this loaded up and have a look. There we go. So you might remember Bugs Quest was a community effort with a lot of people getting involved in things like level design and music. And this is the same. A lovely loading screen there, good looking loading screen with that side hole dressed as an Ewok. And like Bugs Quest, there are a lot of references to the Amstrad community. Um, which, if you don't attend the streams and that, you won't necessarily understand. But I, I don't think you need to understand them to to enjoy the game. So, let's have a look. And as you can see, like I said, there are a lot of people involved in different aspects of the game. So everyone's really pulled together and I think they've done a good job. And if you know anything about me, You'll know I like a good bit of in-game music and my bugger for in-game music. And this game has got it. So, the gist of the game is, you have to collect all the Bridget tapes, destroy them so that you never have to play it again. And there are two modes on this. You've got the normal mode where you've got one life and you're against the clock. And you've got trainer mode where you've got 99 lives and no clock. So, We'll go for normal mode. <laughs> so there we go. Oh. So it moves really well. Controls are responsive. You have got that manoeuvrability in mid there, which is always welcome. But I would say on this game, actually, it's, it's more tricky, I think, than Bugs Quest. And once you've committed to a jump in this game, I don't think there's a lot of time to really sort of change your mind. You can't afford to piss about on this game. You have to just make a decision and go with it, really. Um, so, yeah, it looks really good. Nice chunky mode zero. Good use of colour. Oh. I like the animation on the main sprite. Like I said, it moves really well. Nice and smooth. So... Oh, shit. For this game, it is a lot of sort of precise timing and positioning, which neither of which are my strong... Oh, are my strengths. So it is tricky, especially when you've only got the one life. Like I said, obviously, there is the trainer mode. So if you just want to sort of enjoy the game and... Oh, shit. See what I mean though, once you've committed to going somewhere, you have to do it. Obviously, the more cassettes you collect, the higher your score, but you don't need to get them all to go onto the next screen. I think the music suits the game as well. It's got that kind of... Um, it adds to the urgency, as it were. Do you know what I mean? Oh, shit! Oh, God, I'm annoyed at that. That was stupid. Let's have a go again.
Oh, shit, I thought I'd bollocks that up as well. You watch, I won't get past these bloody mushrooms now. I probably won't get off this... Oh, shit. Oh, done it. Ooh. So you can't afford to mess about with this because you are on the clock. Oh shit, I meant to collect that tape, but I missed it. And it's one of them games, if it moves, it kills you. The floor, did, well, in fact, if it doesn't move, it'll probably kill you as well. Um, oh, there we go. I'm not sure actually how many screens there are in this game. Um, I know Bugs Quest had sort of different levels, but I don't think this has. Oh shit. So this. Oh shit. In this game, like I said, it is. I think it's trickier than Bugs Quest for tapes, but. It's. Oh, I, I, I couldn't put it down. Now, I don't like to sort of. Shit. I don't like to play a game too much if I'm doing a review of it. If I've not played it before, I like to sort of go into it fresh. But I load. Oh, shit. I load, load them up just to check it's working and check the controls and that. And I couldn't put this down. And it was... It's, it can be frustrating at times, do you know what I mean? Especially if you just got, like, the normal mode. But it's, oh, it's, a, it's addictive, because you sort of feel like, oh, do you know what? I'd have done it if I'd have just stood there, or if I'd have jumped at that point, I could have done it. And it keeps bringing you back, just like, oh, you know, just one more goal type of thing. Oh shit in hell. I'm all right. Um so yeah, there is that pull on the game, it's like, you know, just one more go, just one more go, I'll do it next time. But yeah, it can be frustrating. Oh <gasps> shit. Well this looks easy. Said nobody ever. But to be honest, I think it's one of them, with a bit of practice, once you've got your technique, I think you'd be up. Oh, you fucker. Well, I clearly don't have the technique. Well, I enjoyed that. I'm going to leave it there, because I don't want to go too far through it. You know, you want to experience it for yourself. Um, so overall, what do I think of it? I have enjoyed playing it. Um, it has got that... Oh, you know, just, just one more go. I'll do it next time. I'll do it next time. It has got that pull. But yeah, it is incredibly frustrating as well. I mean, like I said, timing and positioning in these games is not my strong point. Maybe other people see the game differently. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. Music's good. It's all just a really high standard. Do you know what I mean? I've enjoyed playing it. Um... I'm determined to finish it. I'm determined to. And I would recommend giving it a go. Um, you know, when it comes out on Ant Stream, check out the High Score Challenge the tournament. That should be great fun. All in all, it's a great effort. I'm dead proud of him. So, yeah. Onwards and upwards to the next game now. I'm looking forward to that. So, Zypho's Nightmare. Give it a go. So I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Try and out.